Uh, I think the most rewarding thing about the lab is when students come in here with a thought in their mind of what they want to build and then seeing them at the end of the project when everything has come to fruition. I think it's great to see students work through the creative process and kind of create things that they didn't think were possible. The Innovation Lab has really helped get me into 3D printing. Next thing I know, I'm building a 3D printer on my kitchen table and it's really become a really awesome hobby for me. What is the most rewarding part of working in the Innovation Lab? Well, so far it's been the reactions of kids coming down to the space and getting excited to be down here, kind of opening drawers and looking through cabinets and just seeing what's new and what's fresh and then the wheels start turning in their mind as to like, what can I create, what can I do with, the, with these tools, with these gadgets. So for visual arts, we're making dioramas, 3D dioramas, and I designed a little monkey piece for my diorama on my computer and then I 3D printed it in CAD Club. There's always going to be new technology and it's always going to be kind of upgrading. So far in the lab, we've been teaching students a lot of computer-assisted design through various technologies that are web-based, how to draw and design in 3D, and then their ability to take those plans and put them into a 3D printer that we have. There's a couple of future plans for the lab. One is to create a virtual reality room in the back where we can set up a virtual net so students can kind of take what they've been learning perhaps in a textbook and actually physically go there using VR technology that we will have. So for my green industries class, we're currently designing a park and we make big models. And so we've come down to the space where there's tons of flat surfaces where we can fit our boards for a ton of different students. It's really adaptable to what you're using this actual room for. There's tons of different tools that you can use for projects that we're working on. I've used glue guns, I've used different X-Acto knives, different tools that have helped me create what I want to replicate in my model. We've started a computer design club, uh, which allows students to learn the basics of 3D design and then end up 3D printing an object that they, of course, designed. There's also a Dungeons and Dragons club held down here where students can create their own character and physically represent them through a 3D printed object. Coming relatively soon, we're going to have the LEGO Robotics Club. And from there, we'll be able to use the LEGO Robotics and other types of robotics like Arduinos and Raspberry Pis. Where we'll be having a course offered in this space next year and students will be able to sign up part of the academic calendar for next year. Hi, my name is Jamie Lahey and I'm Greenwood's Executive Director of Advancement. There is so much exciting new programming happening in Greenwood's Innovation Lab. None of this would have been possible without the generous support from our parents through our annual appeal. This is a great example of where your generosity is being put to good use. The Innovation Lab is one example of the positive impacts that the annual appeal has made for our students. And initiatives like this are not possible without our community support. Thank you.